Hi everyone, welcome to Momenzo 4.0. I'm super excited today to show you our new app to create your own listing videos in a few minutes. I have a lot of things to show you. You will see it's very exciting. So first, how to use Momenzo app for your listing videos. We are going to open Momenzo, create a new project, I click on the plus. For this example, I'm going to use the portrait recording. Click on next and I'm going to record a first shot. So I'm getting in position, click on the record button and simply move like this to record and just stop when I'm happy. So we have our first shot and I click on done to save it. And now we can add more shots, but this time I'm going to import a video. We're going to go inside to see the screen better. Come with me. So now we are inside the property that I can show you the screen better. So as you remember, we did our first shot outside. So now what you can do is either keep shooting with Momenzo. You click on add more and you record more like this. You can keep recording or you can import your shot as well. Here you can choose images as well, but here I want to import a video, a shot. So for example, this one. As you can see, the speed here is just normal. We are going to put a little bit of action, make it more dynamic. So I'm importing this shot and from there we are going to be able to edit the video. So now we have our original shot. I can change slightly the lightning. Shadow is very important for property videos. I edit it like this. And I'm going to click on speed to add some speed to this video. And you are going to see, this is a new way to change the speed of your video. It's just amazing. You, will, you won't find it anywhere else. You will see it's super easy and it's very important for your social media to make a dynamic listing video. I click on start and with my finger, I'm going to change the speed of the video like this. If I want to go faster, I move forward, back, I slow the video down. So between the rooms, I want to accelerate a little bit and slow down when I'm entering a new room, accelerate a bit, slow down so basically now the app is editing the video with what i did with my finger and you are going to see we are going to have the final effect right now as you can see i'm doing nothing anymore the video is edited with my new speed and i did it in only 10 seconds so now i click on save and if I want, I can trim the video a little bit. Maybe I want it to be a little bit shorter. I can trim it like this. I save my trimming. And then I click on done. So now the shot is saved. And as you can see, I have my shots here. If I want to change the order, I can just change the order like this. But this one was for the beginning. And of course, you can keep adding more shots, but now I'm going to show you how to finish your listing video. I click on next. And from here, I'm going to choose a template, how I want to display the information of the property. So I'm going to click on for sale, for example, because I want to sell this property. Click on next. I'm going to put a title. We want to sell this property for 5 million euros. Let's say four bedroom, four bathroom. So now I've put all the property details. I can add my listing reference as well. Click on next. Now I'm choosing a music. Click on next. I'm going to choose the format I want to share. If it's for social media, for reels, I'm going to choose this one because the template is going to move a little bit up 
you will see why. And if I just want to share it on stories or WhatsApp, I'm going to use this one and the template is going to be a bit dull. So I click on finish and my video is now being edited with all the information I need. I will have my logo, the template. As you can see, template is a bit higher because we have the information from Instagram here. Template with information. You can see I have the flow, the speed of the video just there. And at the end, I have my information. So, as you can see, I have edited my lifting video in probably less than five minutes. So what's new in Momento 4.0? Now you can edit your project at any time. I'm going to show you how. So first of all, what's new inside Momento 4.0? Now you can decide if you want to show your introduction. So introduction basically is when you have your logo and a title at the beginning. So this time if I hide it, I won't have this introduction. It's directly the template and my logo just there. Now, if I want to hide, let's say I don't want to show the information at the end of my video. I don't want to show this. I'm going to go in project settings. I'm going to hide this button. And at the end of my video, I won't have the information anymore. Like this. And now let's say I don't want to show my logo in my video. I hide the logo. And as you can see, there is no more logo anymore here. And finally, let's say I'm going to change the template. I'm going to choose, let's say, this template. On this template, I have my profile picture. And I want to hide my profile picture, but I still like this template. I still go to project setting and hide the profile picture. And this time the, the profile picture is not there anymore. What's very important is if I open a project, I can go to edit shot and caption. And from here, I can edit my shots again. So if I click here in the middle, I can again change, a, change the shadow. Maybe I want to trim a little bit and down. This is very, very important. And now you have this flexibility. So at any time you can edit the shots again. So no more stress about what you've done. If you've done something wrong, if the shot was a little bit too long, you can trim it later. If you want to change the lightning, if you want to replace a shot, you can replace it as well anytime you want. So you have much more flexibility in Momento 4.0. I hope you like it. Enjoy it. Mm -hmm.